What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new WWE predictions video. It's already that time of the month and I'm a bit late with this. I'm extremely late with recording this so let's jump into it. I'm on my own for once so it's going to be quite quick. Let's start this off guys with an amazing feud. Mojo Rawley versus Zack Ryder. What a feud this has been. No it hasn't. That was complete sarcasm. Um, I really couldn't care less but I'm going to go with Mojo Rawley. Why? Because it wouldn't make any sense to go with Zack Ryder, would it? They seem that they're going to be pushing Mojo as he's the one who turned heel. So, yeah, Mojo. Next, we've got the Bludgeon Brothers versus Breezango. I wish they would uh, make Breezango like a legit tag team, not just all the... I, I love Fashion Files. Absolutely love Fashion Files. But when, when they seem to be wrestling, it seems to be like they're just a joke tag and they will just lose. And on top of that, Bludgeon Brothers have been insane. They're not, they're not going to lose on their first pay-per-view against a team like Breezango. That said, Bludgeon Brothers all day long. Um, why? Because Bludgeon Brothers. And um, yeah, they're debuting their new gimmick. They're looking extremely strong. I don't think they're going to lose to... Uh, Jobbers? I, I don't know what you want to call them. They're, they are kind of jobbers. You can't... They're not, they're not a legit tag team right now. Like... The best thing they do is fashion files, not in the ring, they're not they're not doing much. So yeah, Bludgeon Brothers. Next we got it's a big one. It's the it's this I'm looking forward to this actually. Usos, Chad Gable, Shelton Benjamin, and uh versus the New Day Roos, uh well, the New Day and then God, okay. I let me let me start this again. It's a f it's a four-way tag team match for the championships. You have the Usos against the New Day, against Aiden English and Rusev, against New uh, yeah, new, um, you know, what, Chad Gable and Shawn Benjamin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, is, is it. Is it American Alpha, is it American Beta, well, whatever, Chad Gable and Shawn Benjamin. So, yeah, uh, who do I've got, who, who do I have? Um, for me, as much as I love Rusev and I do kind of like it in English, um, I don't think they're going to win it. I think it's it's New Day, they've had it, they've gone through the feuds with the Usos, we've seen it all before, I don't think they're going to put it back onto the New Day. That said, they could give us, they could shuck us and just, you know, just for something new, give it to Chad Gable and Sean Benjamin, and that's a possibility. Or the Usos will retain, and for my prediction, I'm going to go, 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 I'm going to go with the Usos. I think the Usos will retain, but I think it'll be a very good match. So yeah, Usos. Next, we have a United States Championship match. Baron Corbin versus Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler, who I just think added in the match to take the pin. Um, who do I have got and why? Who, who do I have and why? Um, I think I'm going to go with Baron Corbin on this one. I think Baron Corbin will end up pinning Dolph Ziggler. And then maybe later on, Baron Corbin and Bobby Roode can have a proper one on one feud match, whatever. And then maybe Bobby Roode could, could go and win the belt. But for now, I'm going to go with Baron Corbin to win it. Baron Corbin with a pin on Ziggler. Next, we have a women's championship match. Charlotte Flair versus Natalia, And it is a lumberjack match. So, um, obviously, we're going to have something to do with the Riot Squad. Something's going to happen. It's, it's not just going to... There will be some kind of confusion, some kind of interference, I mean... Um, it's it's a kind of hard one to predict, but that said, Charlotte Charlotte's been looking strong recently. She got the win over Alexa at Survivor Series. She's they put it on on her to begin with. Um, yeah, Charlotte, I'm gonna go with Charlotte for this one. I, I don't really want to see Natalia win it again. Uh, Charlotte, Charlotte to retain. So. This next match, in my opinion, should be the main event again, but no, they, they keep their, I don't know, is it just because Jinder's in it? I think it's a bit, I think it's not really, I don't think it's a good idea. I think the WWE Championship match, no matter what it is, unless it's like Ma WrestleMania and, you know, there's, uh, you know, there's like the Universal, champ yeah, the Universal um, Championship match, or I don't know, like a Hell in a Cell, huge stipulations on the line match, but most of the time, especially in like a B pay-per-view like this, they really should have the Championship um, main event, I feel. That said, I know people would be angry with it because it's Jinder. But we do have AJ Styles versus Jinder Mahal for the title. Who do I have and why? Um, AJ Styles, really simple. I know they could do, they could put it back on Jinder, which would uh, which would be interesting to say the least. Um, 
But everything we've seen recently me proves kind of that they didn't just put it on AJ just to make Survivor Series a better pay-per-view because now India, the India tours happened. Um, Jinder lost to Triple H uh, on there. It would, it would make no sense to put it back on Jinder and it'd kind of make AJ look stupid. Um, will, the, will the Sings interfere? Um, probably because the, the storyline around this this in the feud have been a, kind of around the Sing the Sing brothers, so I think they'll interfere. Will it backfire? I don't know. I don't know what will go down, but I'm gonna go with AJ Styles to retain. Now we move on to Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn versus Randy Orton, Shinsuke Nakamura with two guest referees, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon. Now this is an interesting one. I, 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 I think one big spot in particular is gonna happen and. We've seen it in the past, but I think I think Shane will be counting for Shinsuke on whoever I don't know. Let, let's say let's say Shinsuke pins Kevin Owens, but then Sami Zayn pins Randy Orton. I think Sami Zayn pinning Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan will count that, and Shane McMahon will count Shinsuke pinning um, Kevin Owens, for example. It'll be a double double pin for. Daniel Bryan's gonna say that Kevin Owens and Sammy won. Shane's gonna say Randy Orton and Shinsuke won. Then I don't know what's gonna happen. Will will the match be restarted? Will, will will they come to blows? I know Daniel Bryan can't really take a bump, but will he? Will he take one little bump? I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. But I'm intrigued for that part of it. Now that said, I do need to give you guys a winner. If if I say that spot's gonna happen. What what would what would what would be the logical thing to happen next? Restart the match, call it as a draw. Will that will that be like the cliffhanger? Will that be the cliffhanger of um, Clash of Champions? Them not knowing who won the match, and then we go off. I think that'd be a bit. I don't know. I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm 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 really like. I don't think Randy Orton and Nakamura will win it. I don't think they will win it like just clean win, you know, boom, Sammy, Kevin are gone, they're fired. That's just not gonna happen, is it? So my prediction is Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn to win it, but my my second kind of predictions for this match is it ends in, in a no contest kind of. No 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 winner has been is uh, is determined because of the spot I said before. I can so see that happening in, in, as soon as Daniel Bryan said he's going to be the referee. I was like, all right, well, that spot's going to happen, isn't it? Um, it might not. It, really, it might not at all. I think it will. Um, if it doesn't, then there will definitely be some kind of... Um, some something. Some something between Daniel Bryan and Shane Man. What is it? Don't know. We'll have to wait and find out at Clash of Champions. That said guys, that wraps up my pay-per-view predictions. Of course guys, I always like to hear from you guys, so let me know down below in the comments what you think of my predictions. Let me know what you guys think, well, let me know of your predictions. Um, what will be the, the best part of this show? What will be the worst part of this show? And what do you guys think the grade will be? I'm gonna predict my, my, uh, my kind of grade to it. I'll give you guys the actual grade after the pay-per-view, but Looking at the card, I think that there could be a couple decent... Uh, there isn't really that one match that I'm like, oh my god, give it to me. <laughs> but yeah, like, I mean, all of them, like Jinder is with Jinder's in it, and as much as I kind of do like Jinder, he's not the best wrestler, that's not going to make the most entertaining match. I think that United States Championship match could be really decent, I think that, yeah, I think that one could. The tag team match could be good. Um, I, I don't know. Maybe the main event could have some in interesting, interesting things to it. But I'm just not. I just don't really like Randy Orton anymore. And Shinsuke hasn't done anything to convince me of how good he, he can be on the main roster so far. And I haven't seen anything from him, so not really interested in him either right now. Might sound harsh, but it's true. He hasn't done much apart from have a good match with John Cena and have a stare down with AJ and Money in the Bank. That's pretty much it. But anyway, guys, that said, thanks so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Let me know everything in the comments, what you guys think about it. Have a good, have a good show, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Till then, take care. Peace out.